Hello, hello, greetings, blessings, shalom, shalom to you all, our beloved and vision radio and go Gideon or the Gideon podcast with your host, brother, pastor, Simeon Gideon Nerelus. We thank you for continuing to listen to this great broadcast, uh, this podcast, And this radio station, may God bless you, may God bless you, may God bless you indeed. Well, remember, Jesus loves you and uh, Go Gideon, the Gideon podcast, also appreciate and loves you. Before we get to the world, we will pray. But just before that, we want to remind you, we have a project. For the children, the students of Haiti, uh, it is the book mobile, a book mobile that uh, we plan to have uh, at the end of this summer. So we need your help where we will go to the children where they are, whether it be to camps or picnics or their school place, their school site with uh, a bus of books, internet, the laptops and connect them to the world. Pray for us, and if you can support us, our phone number is 561-631-2790. 561-631-2790. Our GoFundMe is Haiti Kids Book Mobile. Haiti Kids Book Mobile. On online with GoFundMe. Let us get to the word. Father God, we thank you for your love, for your mercy, for your grace. Thank you for life. Thank you for health. Thank you for strength. Thank you for this ministry. And thank you for coming very, very, very soon to get us out of this world, out of this mess, into your arms, your everlasting love. In Jesus' name we pray. Amen. Amen. Today we will see the subject of obedience by faith. Obedience by faith. How God enables you to obey him. For very often we hear people say, well, we know there are ten commandments. We know there is the law, but who can really observe them? Have we ever sit down and think or thought about what does that really entail? Well, we know God has a government. Just like there is government in this world that have laws, that have constitution, that they are a way to be. God has a government. We can, we can all agree on that. How do we know, preacher? When we go to Psalm 103, verse 19, it tells us that the Lord had prepared his throne in the heavens and his kingdom ruled over all. God's throne, God's government in the heavens and his kingdom rules over all. Amen. Now, let us go to there. There can be no government without law. Yeah, there can be no government without law. As a matter of fact, the word government uh, has to deal with to govern, to rule. Romans chapter 7 verse 12 tells us the law is holy and the commandments holy, and just, and good. Look, for brothers and sisters, that says, who can observe the law of God? We see that how God enables us to obey him. He will never ask us to do something that he doesn't give us the power to do. And when you look at the law, 
if there were no laws in the USA, there wouldn't be no USA. Accident left and right every day. Can you imagine that? No stop sign, no red lights, just airplanes. No airplanes because they will crash on each other. Imagine that. Chaos. The law is holy and the commandments holy and just and good. Amen. Verse 14 tells us, For we know that the law is spiritual, but I am carnal, soul under sin. The law is not the problem. We are the problem because of sin. But Jesus is the solution. But Jesus is the is the, the, the is is the savior. He is God. He is the ruler. Proverbs 28 verse 9 tells us, He that turneth away his, his ear from hearing the law, even his prayer shall be abomination. Proverbs 28 verse 9, He that turneth away his ear from hearing The law, even his prayer, shall be abomination. Not only sin, but abomination. So, if we are Christians, we believe in Christ. Don't despise the law of God. Amen? Amen. God's law was for men in the Bible times. It, was, it, it is for all humanity. Let's see. What does the book of Romans chapter 3 verse 31 tells us? Do we then make void the law through faith? God forbid. Yea, we shall we establish the law. Often we hear big preachers, big time preachers, bishops, doctors, priests, Popes trying to minimize the law of God. But no, listen to what Paul says. Do we then make void? Do we cancel? Do we cancel? Huh? The law of God through faith? Because we have faith? No. God forbid. No, God forbid. Listen to that. Yeah, we establish it. We establish the law. We uphold the law. James chapter 2 verse 10 and 12 tells us, For whosoever shall keep the whole law and yet offend in one point, he is guilty of all. For he that said, Do not commit adultery, said also, Do not kill. Now, if thou commit no adultery, yet thou kill, thou art become a transgressor, transgressor of the law. So speak ye, and so do, as they that shall be judged by the law of liberty. All ten commandments of God. Amen? All of it. So, it is a very interesting topic to know about. We are protected by God's law. The universe. Our world is protected by, 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 by laws, by natural laws. The sun knows its place. Hmm? Yes, brothers and sisters. We will see more. Next, God's law is for the remnant in the last days. For people of God in the very last days, it is for you. It is for us. We are in the last days. So ponder on this study and check the text out. How obedience by faith works. 
how God enables you, enables me, enables us to obey him. He has a government. We are the subject of his government. As we respect the laws and you pledge allegiance to the flag of the United States of America, God also has a government. And we must pledge fidelity, faithfulness, obedience by faith and by grace to be all God call us to be in him through his blood, his grace. We don't keep the law because we want to be saved, but it's the other way around. We are saved Christians, saved people. We cannot keep going to the pat house or keep doing those uh, filthy things we, we used to do. We have to abide by the law because Christ in us it is the hope of glory. Help us, Lord. May God bless you. May God bless you. Once again, may God bless you. Father God, we thank you for your love, for your mercy, for your grace. Thank you for this direct study. May you bless your children all over the world, especially here in the U.S. In our country, Haiti, bless your children Bless us, bless the USA, bless the world. In Jesus' name we pray, amen, amen, amen. Well, blessing to you again. Stay put and stay under the grace of the Lord and keep the law of God. God bless you. Our phone number is 561-631-2790. 561 561-631-2790. And our podcast in English, Go Gideon TV. Go Gideon TV online. Blessing to you. Peace.